this is the last part of this series our discussion was about the five sides of our social life about those who need to focus for healthier time ahead we have already discussed three topics that is respect and love cleanliness and no hypocrisy and dirty politics if you haven't seen those videos kindly watch those by clicking on the top right corner links now let's start today's video no religious and caste fighting no need to say that riots are the most filthy incidents of human history whether it's syria or india these events are very much grimy and shameful for the modern society if you deep into the psychology of these happenings you will understand that there are mainly two reasons behind it first hateful thoughts towards the other religion or caste we are not against the religious activities those are made us to help our spiritual journey and although the path of spirituality is shown by different saints or holy persons are somewhat different the ultimate destination is always same so we need to understand that we human beings of different religions caste are actually carrying the same dna structure being the most intelligent creature on this earth we can't fight with each other secondly some selfish people create riot for their own age they initiate the vicious activity and which leads to tremendous cruelty so what is the solution just we all need to be aware and conscious about our activities about our thoughts our mind is an angel and a devil at the same time and it depends on us to whom we will fail so take your decision by yourself not by listening to any humbug follow any religion that you wish to and practicing self thinking will definitely help you in your spiritual journey as it increases your consciousness helpfulness and teamwork remember the game of soccer or volleyball or cricket you have played a player alone can't win the game or a game can't be lost due to a single mistake by a single player the win or loss was determined by the performance of the team and now think about the game of chess that you need to play alone own or defeated by your own both of these have their own merits and demerits but if you want to understand the power of a team then take an example of team game where you need to understand the strength and weaknesses of other players you have to help a player when he needs and also you will get back help in return when you require it and that's what is much important in the society from the very first day of social community development people are bounded by assisting each other undoubtedly this coordination is the backbone of our social structure but nowadays we are becoming so narrow minded getting much busy with our own problems and gains and losses that even we don't bother about the person sitting beside us we don't know how our nearest neighbor health we don't care what our colleagues are doing the opposite is also true no one care about us no one mind whether you and i are feeling well or not it doesn't matter whether we sleep well too powerful or not nuclear family metropolitan life is enhancing this much more so to come out from this situation we need to be sensitive with each other we have to speak and smile to each other we have to share moments together overall social animal like human can't live alone and moreover happiness comes when you share your mind and heart with a living person wealth money can give you pleasure but happiness 
one of the most important thing of your life can't be purchased with money this is the end of the series there are several other problems like unemployment education immigration etc also exist in our society but these five topics are easy to handle by the common people which one of these five is most important according to you or do you think any other aspect is more important let me know in the comment section